Hi, I'm Gabe Cohen, uh, Chief Instructor of American Krav Maga and uh, owner of Israeli Krav Maga Aspen, also Glenwood Springs Martial Arts Academy. Um, I'm here with a special guest, my friend George Hussar from uh, Engage Club Academy and also the Spartan Krav Maga Academy in the UK. He has seven schools there. He has a school in Romania. Um, he came uh, with the sole purpose of training me this entire week. And uh, we also, we have a couple seminars coming up uh, Friday night and Saturday. I'm real excited about that. He's been uh, helping out with my students this week. Um, it's just a great honor to have you here, George. Nice to be here and work with you, and we'll do a lot of good stuff then. Absolutely. Uh, before if we get started, I, I just want to uh, give you a, a gift. You know I've been working. I just got into executive protection the last uh, few years on a higher uh, professional level, working with some celebrities and, and uh, uh well, I can't really say because of the security deal, but uh, I started my career as a bouncer, and I, I published my first book, The Pitbull Bouncer, a proven guide for nightclub owners, bar managers, and security personnel. And it's a great honor for me to thank give you very you much my book after talking to you for so long. Yeah, um, I'll definitely will read it, and uh, I'll let you know my opinion about it. Sure. Yes. And when we get done with this interview, we're going to go to Scarlett's, uh, Andrew Sandler's uh, new restaurant. Um, here in Aspen, Colorado, we're at the local grassroots TV station, and it's an honor to be here. And uh, Andrew wrote the forward to my book. He, uh, he's been a good friend to me and helped me implement uh, my security program and my training to his staff. Uh, so I just want to... I just want to mention that since we are on a local TV station, Andrew's been a good friend and a big supporter of mine. Um, so. Having said that, we'll, we'll finish this with a nice lunch over at Scarlett's, his new restaurant. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know you have a started, you have a extensive military background and then got into some security work. And, uh, but what I'm really impressed, most impressed with is your martial arts and Krav Maga uh, career. So. Okay, so uh, let's see, I start to train a little bit on fighting and just a kind of uh, moving around with my father. My father was a ex-Romanian champion on wrestling. Oh. So he taught me how to kind of throw people around and stuff like that in a self-defense purpose. But obviously as a kid, you always end up in fighting with other kids. So I've been always on, on fighting, which is not good. Uh, fighting should be the last solution. Absolutely. Um, when you enter a fight, people get injured. So then um, I've only been boxing later on. Um, uh, because back in time, in 1980s, on the Ceausescu regime, everyone called him a dictator, but I don't think it was. Anyway, so uh, it was um, the national service. Uh, I went to to army, I spent the one year, and then uh, I left the army. Um, I took a break from the army for another year when I start to build up my... Um, Karate club. So I had a karate club oh. in, back in Romania. Yes. Like um, so. My, my own 20s? school there. <coughs> yes, I was around wow, 19 years old. Oh, I didn't know when that. When I had my, my, my uh, own club, uh, and then um, I went back to the army uh, to work. Um, then I've been working 10 years as an instructor, so teaching self-defense in army, teaching oh, wow. uh, shooting. Uh, so you. I were think you call it PT. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Physical. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Training. Training. And, uh, uh, for 10 years, uh, and I've done well, a lot of uh, martial arts <laughs> competition, military ones. Uh, at that point, we weren't allowed to to participate on a civilian competition. But I've done a lot of um, uh, non-contact and full-contact competition uh, for army. Sure, on, in on house. The, yes, Which in house. Probably pretty rough. I uh, yes, because <laughs> uh, you know the soldiers have a lot of time to train and. Right. Uh, become tough and stuff like that. A whole nother um, for Yeah, sure. so on all this time also I run my own uh, club out of the army and uh, looking after wow. soldiers in army. That's impressive, I didn't know uh, that. I try to go to when the first thing start in, in Europe with the Kosovo. 
And oh, my, yeah. my, uh, my uh, who was in charge, they didn't let me to go because they said, I don't want to lose you. We just want you here because you are a good instructor. So we need an instructor. So I was kind of a little bit disappointed because I, I was ready to right, work some, some, yeah, some, some, uh, some uh, kind of real life action. But you're an, you're an asset to the, to the, to yeah, the military, that's so, to the government. Yes. I mean, you, you help take care of... Uh, to make sure your soldiers came home safe. They, the that's, that, that was the point. So, um, so in 2000, in 2000, I left the army. I left um, my country. I just uh, came for a different adventure to try new stuff. So I've been involved with uh, close protection in, um, in Portugal. For a while, I've done um, um, Door supervisor, we call it in England. I can hear like a bouncer. Right, right. Yeah, nice so club security. Knife, yes. Is, can I mention? Uh, uh, you you were telling me this past week that you worked at a big club in Portugal, and I mean it was open. Like there wasn't yeah. like a door, like a funnel it's where because, they had to get yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and by open. yourself. Yeah. So because uh, I, I I used to work um, um, in Porto Santo, which is a part of Madeira. Which is, they belong to. Uh, Portugal, but they are kind of um, um, they have uh, autonomy. Oh. They have their own president, which I've done a cross protection for uh, Juan Alberto Jardim. Presidential bodyguard. Uh, well, it's one thing when you are uh, an armed close protection officer, and it's a different thing we are when you are doing close protection and you are not uh, oh, no. don't have any weapons. It's a totally different. Uh, you, were, you were unarmed. Unarmed. Uh, going to unarmed. Business? Yes, wow. you know how it's working. So yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's even harder. But anyway, I know um, about that. was a good experience. I'm not going to yes. uh, too much on the details. Uh, while I've been working in Port Santo, I've done also um, uh, security for um, Last Ketchup. What's was, that? Um, uh, a group, a singing group oh, from okay. um, from yeah. um, from Spain. Um, Bonnie M, yes, yeah. was uh, part of a All kind of a Bonham. festival there, yeah. yes. Uh, some uh, big uh, DJ, uh, big names, uh, DJ names. Um, so you've been, uh, yeah. you've, you've, I was going to say you've seen what I've seen, but you've probably seen a lot more of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I've done it here in the United States. It's, it's, it's hard when you work with uh, VIPs, but for example, last ketchup. Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't mention this. Smoking <laughs> on, on, a, on, a, on a stage, it's just throwing the, oh. the bits. You know, yeah. population gets uh, angry, and we have to kind of deal with. Oh, I see. Uh, so Dealing with the repercussions of the people yes, that so you're Yes, so that's protecting. why I, I, it's yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Anyway, they don't pay you enough to get hurt. No, for, uh, no. for their um, childness. Being a bouncer was a, again uh, um, out there was a great experience because I was on my own. Um, good money, right. but um, for me, being a bouncer, it's about being smart, not being mm -hmm. strong and a good necessary to beat people up. You, As I mentioned to you learning once, Learning how yes. to use your, your verbal, uh, verbal Krav Maga, right? yeah. your verbal judo, as they say. Yeah, exactly. So you can achieve more with um, a good uh, communication skills Absolutely. than with, uh, with um, say overpowering somebody or you being You can't overpower aggressive. everybody no. either. Yes. You don't no, want to get yourself good, in yeah. a wreck. No. Uh, while, I, while I was in Portugal, also, I was working as um, um, instructing um, um, you full teaching? contact, yes, and yeah. other combats uh, there uh, on the local area. And I come across with uh, Krav Maga. So it oh, that's how you first discovered it over there. In 2002, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then uh, on the first uh, session, I just fell in love with Krav Maga. I saw how simple it is, <laughs> how efficient it is, no... Easy Let's to see. learn, easy yeah. to remember. Totally Not too much effective. flowers, just straight uh, yeah. forward. So I had the same, same, similar experience. I, my first class, it, it was just pff, that's all I needed. I was hooked. I'm like this is for me. This was this is in my blood. Yeah, when because I've done a lot of uh, competitions, and you know that's in the martial arts. And I can, and I'm, I'm not uh, slamming down uh, uh, the martial arts, but sure. we have a lot of stuff that you train. It's an art. You want to be the best in that art. Right. But a lot of things you don't, you even don't use it in a competition. Because if you have a great coach, they'll know what's your best shots, the way how you move and everything. So they'll build your, your tactics uh, based on what you're good on. Oh, I see on your best potential. Huh? Potential, that oh. makes sense. Yes, to, to take points and everything. So actually a lot of things what you do, uh, in a kata and classes in kihon and yeah. my knee, sagaru, that which is kind of some Japanese term, moving forwards and backwards and all sorts, you don't use it. Right. 
Uh, it's not that practical for self-defense, some of it. Some of, yeah, we still use it. Some of it's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. you take what's good and you use it and you... That's exactly what you should do. See what's, yeah. what's appropriate for um, these days because we... See, uh, the world change. The criminal mind change. Yeah. Everyone becomes more... Threats. Yeah, we have to keep up with them. So what uh, been applying 20 years ago doesn't apply now. So George, tell me about... Um, so you got, you got introduced to Krav Maga, Portugal. You fell in love with it. Uh, what happened next? You came back to UK and you, you sought um, out one of the bigger franchises. I got, um, I got a contract uh, to work uh, security for Piano Ferries. Um, and then when I get on board there, like, I so learned on a English. Ferry? On a ferry ship? Yes. I see. I learned English uh, through the books, some uh, school, what okay. I could remember from school. Oh, but, wow. Good for yeah. you. Um, I got, a, um, I got a test to be able to work uh, for that company. But you know, it's, it's, it's totally different. When I get in, uh, in UK, in Heathrow, that's, uh, the, the language, I, I couldn't kind of barely understand. The accents, the, stuff, oh, the different dialects. It was hard. So <laughs> I was off of that, actually, from that contract as a security. Oh, because you couldn't understand the I language. I couldn't understand properly, yeah. Oh. So you, 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 you cannot do a right. proper job. Sure. So in six months, I just improved my English and then I work as a security uh, for piano ferries, which is, uh, was a great, a different experience. Um, then what I had in Portugal, dealing with drunk people, with all sorts of people and aggressive people yeah. in a confined area because you're on a ship, that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, Crazy. And a, a mixed, uh, a mixed uh, crowd with family and kids, and it was 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 it's, great. Yeah, and every it's different. every experience is is great. Yes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you learn different things from different experiences. So, um, in two thousand seven, I finished my Kramaga instructor course, and then I left. Um, and that was with just uh, one of the more popular, let's say, franchises that. Uh, that in I've the done UK, my instructor. Did you go to Israel? Uh, no, actually, I've done it. My, my the first part of my instructor course it was in Portugal. Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Uh, second part it was, uh, and my first part I've done it with Amnon Darsa and with Tommy Bloom. Ah, yeah. big names on in a um, in a Kramaga community. Yes, yes. Second part was in Poland. I've done it with uh, Tamir Gilad, which we're still very good friends with Tamir. Yeah, um, and that was that's a very, some very, solid, very yes. solid program right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then third part, um, uh, actually on the second part, I trained also with um, Al. Yeah. There, and the third part um, was only with Tommy Bloom back in Sweden. So I finished my instructor course, and then 2008, I opened the Spartans Academy of Kramaga with two classes in the, in the UK first or in UK. Romania. No, UK. Okay. So I opened two classes and then uh, we expand, um, we extend it from there. So now we have a club in Romania, we have a good uh, participation. I, I mean, we are in a very good relationship with uh, Krav Maga mentality from um, in Greece. Uh, from Greece, yes, yeah, we work uh, very close with them. And now here with uh, Krav Maga. Um, I get, that excites me. Yeah. <laughs> Gets my blood um, going. In 2000, Five. Yeah, tell me, so tell me, because we talked a little bit about it, and, I, and we have a very, I think, similar experience. Um, being new to the Krav Maga community, you, you know, you, you read up, you do whatever research you can, but you don't really have much reference um, uh, with who, who's who and, and what's good and what's not good. Um, I'm trying to stay out of the politics. Right, right. No, no, no. no, no, we, no, don't no. Want, we don't want to name. Yeah. We don't want to name names. No, we don't. But, name but, but I do want to name one name, and I want to know why. I, I'm comfortable with it. But I, I, think I know you are. what you want. What you want to you name. Know where I'm going, I will right? do it. I will oh, do it. Do yeah. It. So you do it. Bring um, it. Bring I've been it, with uh, one of the federations, which in the beginning it was okay, and um, the problem is like I had my own experience, I've been on the streets and I know what's working, what's right. not, yes? yes? And I see how people work and I understand a little bit about uh, human behavior, criminal behavior, and a lot of things that are not right. Any structure, again, I don't want to people to think I'm kind of slamming something for somebody. Well, it's like I think the commercial Kramaga 
try to compete with martial arts. So they have lots of strikes, but you even don't use them. I, I also and think it, they are get, go against the principles. Don't turn your back onto your opponent. And it's anyway. And, and compete with the fitness community. I, I yes. know it's a lot. It's, it's a cardio workout with, and, and of course you need to have cardio. It, it's but, good. But where's your focus? It is, listen, it's, it's for different type of people. Absolutely. People want to do this, will do this. So Some people for, just dictate to I, the market. I, Some people dictate to... Uh, I tell to my students. To reality. Somebody asked me, what's this? This is better than the Kramaga or this is better than the Kramaga? I said, it's nothing better than this or this is better than that. Uh -huh. It's what you believe is good for you. Doesn't matter like if somebody come in and say, oh, actually, um, I'll give an example. Zumba, it's a good for self-defense. And he believes in Zumba is good for self-defense. You'll never change his mind. That makes sense. So it's not a point to argue about Until that. Until he gets his ass kicked. Then, uh, well, <laughs> yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyway... Um, he'll change his own I, mind. He'll I, change his own mind. Yeah. I change uh, to a different organization after that. And I want a different on for uh, different reasons, which I'm not going on, on them. Yes, absolutely. But I, respect I left that. everything that because I feel it's too much. The structure is going on a different way. Actually, Krama Guy is about to empower people to give people a chance to be able to defend themselves. Which everybody has a right. Yes. To. So for me, it's more important my students than the commercial side. So I left everything apart. Then I've done my own research. I trained here with, and there. Um, and I found about Itai Gil. Um, I had a short chat with Itai, Itai Gil. Itai Gil from? Itai Gil from Protect um, Israeli um, Solution. Um, I check his background. Everyone should check it and train with him. Yeah, it's a um, very humble different. man. Uh, it's humble. It's telling you exactly the, food chain in, in my the way how I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the way how he's telling me. Don't get it as the ground. Work out. I'll show you what think it's working for us. You test it. Which, by the way, you have been doing this whole week, and and I'm, I'm yes. so grateful. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a point to say you have to do it this way. No. Test it, me. see what's working, yes. what's not. Same with it. I, she said, look, that's how I do it. That's because this, this and that. And you have a vast experience on a real life. Yeah. That's, it's, that's not, it's not, a, I'll say, it's not a, a dojo kramaga. It's a real life situation kramaga, which is totally different. Like, like my friend uh, Alex, who uh, also was my right-hand man here at Bootsy Bellows in Aspen, says, uh, not, not your hobby martial artist. Let's, let's just talk for a minute about Itai Gill's uh, background. Um, your mom? Yeah, I she's, um, she's an Israeli ex uh, yeah, mom, um, um, member. She was um, Special Forces yeah, anti Yeah, counter-terrorist unit. Um, uh, that's what it is. And she's even now, she's um, um, Advising? What, what, not he, yeah, well, a consultant. Consultant, for yes. Go, for yeah. governments, for yes. Israel, he was... Yes, uh, even now he's uh, uh, in touch with uh, the unit. He's a consultant, uh, consultant for uh, Yamam and other stuff. So it's a reason behind that. Uh, absolutely. And uh, if I may add, I just, I just know because he sent me... Uh, the, his resume is incredible. The documents... Uh, uh, I was the lead defensive tactics instructor for the bodyguards. Yeah. Uh, of the Israeli presidential for cabinet. For around 10 years, he, he, he ran a course for um, the bodyguards of uh, the president of Ukraine and so and so, yes. So and, 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 he, and you are a partner with Protect? Yes, we are a partner with uh, Protect Israeli Solution. Right. Uh, we represent uh, him in the uh, in UK, but also we are partner, uh, both of us, we are partner for um, On Engage Academy. Engage Academy. So Engage tell me, Academy. tell me about Engage Academy, and also your your. Uh, so Engage Academy falls under the umbrella uh, or associated with Spartan. No, Bob Engage Academy is a different um, it's a different academy, which uh, I'm the chief instructor there. Um, chief instructor with Engage. Yes, and also Spartan, correct? Yes, that's but, correct. Okay, um, so tell me about Engage. Engage is an academy that uh, want to kind of change the 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 things on as much as is possible to make everything simple to make it accessible for everyone not just about uh lots of money and lots of 
flowers. If I may Simple. say, yeah, uh, I got a little disillusioned with a lot of the big franchises. My own experience, I'm just speaking about myself. Uh, you know, I, I was taught by some great people. Uh, but it was all about those monthly affiliate dues. And I even know some associations, if you leave, they'll try to pull your instructors, certs. Uh, they can't take away the knowledge that you already got. But it just, it's just it's a shame because it's a racket. And, and a lot of uh, the general public doesn't know the difference of who's who. It's and, a hook. Yeah. And, and I love the fact that um, uh, like-minded people that, you know, like yourself, you recognize what I recognize. Um, you know, I have my own brand, my own business, and uh, you know, you traveled all the way from the UK to come meet me, to come train with me, and and for me, or or to come train me, not me train you. Yeah. I, I'm learning from you. I have never I been in the military. I love from you too. Don't worry. We will learn from each other. We learn oh. every day from every single uh, person if we want to. If we have an open mind, right? yes, I'm, exactly. I'm always a student first, and, and it's a great honor. I'm extremely humbled, and, and uh, uh, I love what you guys are doing. Also, with Engage Academy, I, I think we can. I know it's out there, so I don't think uh, uh, anybody would mind. But you guys have a film uh, uh, series coming yes, out, right? Yes, it uh, will be a, um, a short movie for um, for episodes. Um, Good Kramaga, uh, there. Uh, Itagil is one of the the stars also. Uh -huh. uh, I've done the choreography. The yes, yeah. I've done all the fighting based on exactly what we've been uh, working uh, this hardcore uh, stuff too. This uh, this week, so no fancy stuff, no people that uh, get beaten for ten minutes and then uh, they still can run and ask for help right. and they're bleeding. That does not happen in real life. You guys but kept anyway, it real. We, we want I'm to keep really it real and not, uh, to it. Yeah. not giving a false confidence to people. Absolutely. That's one thing what we don't do. We tell people, that might work, that might not. You might have a shot, you might not. So it's a lottery. That's exactly what it is. Karma guy is about surviving. Don't have nothing to do with sport, don't have nothing to do with the fight. And should be, as I mentioned, the fighting should be the last result. Before, run if it's possible. Sure. Use uh, your employ words. your uh, your uh, communication skills, discussion skills, because that's important. Sometimes people just get angry, just shout, monkey dance. Right. Don't go, don't get on their uh, dance. Right. Just try to be humble, and just say what the person want uh, want to need or, or need to right. to hear from you, and you don't need to enter on any fight. Yeah, you kind of stroke their ego a little bit, especially I've ego is not your so best much. amigo. So just <laughs> yeah, I know we've. Uh, We've done some some great training this week, and and we still have uh, we have active shooter uh, response seminar Friday night. I'm real excited about that. Oh, it's tomorrow, <clears throat> that is tomorrow. Yes, and more fun this, Saturday. Yeah, and six hour seminar, baseball bat, knife, uh, gun defense. I'm just yeah, I'm super crazy excited, dream, yeah? and we we invited local law enforcement. I invited uh, the students from the police academy to come. Um, I'm just really excited, and, and it's it's just been a great experience uh, working with you. Uh, it's, it's, it's good to know. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's been great. You've been kicking my ass all week, man. I, Not really, but yeah. here, I, I, I will here. do it later. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to touch on? We have a few minutes left, and and uh, I just want to give you the opportunity. Like I said, I'm extremely humbled that you came here. Uh, anybody you want to make a little shout out to, or um, so talking about engage, as I mentioned, so I think everyone out there, not necessarily uh, only the Kramaga communities, every martial artist, everyone who uh, want to see kind of a little bit of uh, reality, they should uh, watch. I think the, uh, some of the, the movies um, will be uh, released soon. We uh, get that on. The app. We get a special app for that. Uh, right? It will be a special app uh, uh, really soon, um, and more news will come uh, soon. So and of course, I'm posting all that on my on my Facebook page, yeah, social so media, you'll, Instagram. You'll, you'll def yeah, I know you'll you'll uh, you'll do all that. So yeah, you're good on that. So I'm I'm not good with um, with uh, technology. I'm learning. I'm just good with other stuff. Yeah, you could. You're definitely good at hitting people. <laughs> well, <laughs> when it's necessary. No, but I I, I mean it. It has to be proportionate. Yes. I mean it in a Krav Maga loving way. Way. Um, it's been a great experience, and uh, uh, you know, if you're in, if you live in the UK, uh, do yourself a favor and, and uh, look up George Hussar and Spartan Krav Maga Academy, Engage Academy Club. Hey, we we do have about a minute left. Tell me about uh, tell me about Don't your trick. Me. <laughs> uh, what? 
What's Don't that? trick me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Tell me about your uh, your fight club that you guys do. Can you sp are you comfortable speaking on that? For oh a yes, um, I think so we run. Think it's awesome. No, we it's run coming some, to Aspen soon. Yeah. We we run some programs, uh, some training programs. Uh, so one of them it's a fight club. So what we do there, we just. Uh, we don't do sparring, as I mentioned to you. Sparring from, for me mean you condition your student to be there for one minute because people say, oh, you've sparred for one minute. So the, the, your student will stay there to fight for one minute, which actually in real life, you don't want to stay there. You just want to run. That makes sense. Right. So we work a little bit different, uh, which I'm not going on the details. Sure. Yes. Sure, we don't want to give, we don't give away you. the form, right? N yeah. Um, but it's actually, it's about, it's about surviving. So um, I'm running scenarios. I will tell the attacker what to do, mm -hmm. and the defender has to deal with. We got we got headgear. Yes. So we don't work uh, with uh, we gloves. Keep, we keep everybody safe. No gloves. The only only uh, protective gear what we use it's a uh, helmet mm -hmm. with full visor, groin protection, and that's all. Uh, and I'll give you small details later, which everyone will will uh, enjoy it. And we've done it actually. We've done it in uh, in uh, how our many extreme. Times have you done it? Um, like quite a, several times. Yes, and, and um, but uh, it's a special event. It's this yes. isn't a weekly thing, but, but it's, it's not weekly thing. It's just kind different, of uh, different scenarios. Different scenarios. We also have uh, kramagology, uh, which is um, kramagology. Uh, yes, we we have about a minute left. Tell me about that. We started last year with. Uh, different uh, programs, which uh, kind of lead to the last, uh, the last um, series where ev everything we've been applied. So what you learn on, so on kind of building, building up to like yes. worst case scenario. Yes. So and that'll be six hours. So for example, wow. our seminars are six hours. Wow. Three hours minimum. So we, right. we work hard. Yes. That's great, George. Well, this has been a pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Nice to be here, yeah. uh, Gabe. And uh, we'll uh, go back to the base and what will be more. Yeah, today. yeah. We're going to go get ourselves some lunch over at Scarlet's. Yeah, and we I'll, need some, I'll show some, you the club. Some, uh, some energy for later. Yeah, yeah. We'll get that double espresso. And, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, we'll, that's we'll, great. Uh, we'll hit Killer 82. That's what they call the highway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Killer 82. Uh, obvious reasons. Uh, you could you saw the ice today. Um but we'll get we'll get home safely, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with you in the future. Thank you so much. Yeah, before we finish, yeah, so yeah, uh, I'm glad that uh, um, I'm here and I can um, share my knowledge uh, with you, Gabe, uh, which I'm done. I'm, let's see, I can share with anyone; it's not a problem because I think everyone should benefit from as much knowledge as as possible. Um, you have your own experience through the what you've done before, right. you see how we work. Absolutely, yes. And why and everything. So um, I want to thank to my students because I'll not be here without yeah. them. Thank you I want for to sharing thank them. to right. to my uh, instructor team uh, back in UK. They are taking care of uh, our classes now. I want to take to thank to uh, Engage Academy because also they help me with uh, social media and other stuff. I want to thank to everyone that uh, believe on me and uh, is giving me opportunity to improve. Well, you have a great team. I've got, uh, had, excuse me, I've had an opportunity to, uh, to have conversations with, with a few of your key people and uh, everybody has just been uh, very welcoming and uh, professional. Um, and I know that they have the, the public's best interest, the safety of your students. Um, and you guys are just doing great work in your community. So again, I just, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.